Hello everyone! Julie is here. I'm very glad to see you today. Thank you for watching and drawing with me. And today we are going to celebrate your creativity, guys, and show some of your beautiful drawings. So look out for a picture and here we go! Today we will be drawing the last picture of our Easter Bunny story. But you have still time, guys, to create beautiful artworks, postcards and even a book by punching the holes and stitching our drawings together with a ribbon. And you can even write a story on the back of each drawing and it will be a great Easter book and a fantastic present. So, what you will need today? Today you will need paper, pencil and something to color with. It could be pens, color pencils, crayons, paints, whatever you have at home. I wish you happy drawing, guys! So let's start and have some fun! So here is our bunny. Uh, he is sitting in the basket with full of eggs and uh, he is in the hot air balloon and he is going to bring these eggs and maybe even some sweets too children all over the world. So, let's make some beautiful things, guys! So, let's start drawing our Easter Bunny, which is uh, sitting in the basket. And we will start drawing it from the balloon. We will draw a circle and then extend it and draw a basket, but a basket will be smaller than the balloon. So leave more space for the balloon and then we will draw some decorations for our balloon and the basket with our Easter bunny. So let's start from the balloon. So divide your page visually on two parts and let's begin. So I'm drawing like a circle. And then I will just make it narrow here. And if you don't like something, just drop it out and draw again. But don't forget that I'm just giving you only ideas and you are the creators. And this is your own world and you are the main creators here. So make it your own way. If you change something, just do it. So. I will curl it a little bit, like make this line more narrow here, like this. And then I will divide on different parts, so I will make divisions here, like to show where they will end and begin and somewhere in the middle, so put it here and it will go from here and like this and again here 
and like this. Something goes wrong, just drop it out, correct. It's much easier to draw with pencils because you always can correct and change something if you don't like it. So. And um, now I will be drawing this line here. And then one more. Yeah. And the same from this part. So I will do it the same here. Yeah, something like this. And now I will draw decorative lines for decorations. And they are curved like this. And repeat. So repeat in your lines. So and our bunny is sitting in the basket. But it looks only small, but in real life it's really huge basket where, can, <laughs> when our, where our bunny can put a lot of presents, believe me. So I will start like uh, dividing this page and trying uh, to draw a circle, which will be the head of our bunny. So doing like this. And I will also draw his paws with which he is holding uh, the basket and his ears are waving, they are waving on the wind because it's, you know, it's very windy outside when you are in this balloon and it's a great adventure because it's really great fun. And now I will draw a basket. So his paws will be here. And I will start drawing our basket. So it's a little smaller. Okay, I will correct it. Make it bigger, a little bigger. The same, similar. Maybe it is further and can look smaller. So I need to, to draw a face first. His bows. And I know, guys, that some of you like to draw first eyes and then the whole face. But maybe starting with the circle will be a little bit easier for the beginning. And then you can start drawing all faces from the eyes. And now I will find out how. Uh, where will be my basket, so it will be like this, and I can draw some X there to show that our bunny hasn't forgot all the presents, and he is going to see all children over the world and bring them Easter presents. Are you excited, guys? I am very excited. And I will also put like some decoration lines here. So they can be different. Again, don't forget to put your own patterns and you are very creative in it. I know I have seen already on your drawings and they are fantastic. Just fantastic. And if it's a superhero bunny, then maybe he will, you will draw some more stuff. Or maybe it's a fancy bunny. It's up to you. So, and now the basket. I will draw this line again, repeating the old one. And it goes there and here. And now I will make a basket. It 
still be easy to make a line and then just connect them yeah a little bit not so perfect but it's okay because the wind is blowing and basket is waving on the wind and I will draw ropes which are holding our bunny and they're very strong like they can hold a lot of people inside or maybe a lot of eggs and presents sometimes it can be 10 or even 15 people there so it's really huge it's only on the picture we see it not so big but in reality it's very big and I will draw six flags decorating my basket so just divide it evenly so you have space for all the flags to write Easter one two three four five six a little bit smaller but this, this is okay and also I will be drawing uh, these lines here and make like this just I'm not going to show so many details but you can draw your basket very detailed very real it's up to you and it's mustn't look exactly as much and I will add some decoration here so it can be like any flowers or something you want to show I will be drawing just leaves with berries uh, but you actually can draw anything you want here maybe some flowers maybe just uh, some fla more flags waving on the wind and on this side as well great so and now I will decorate a little bit my balloon I will add here a flag which is waving you can make it of different colors and patterns in order everyone can see this beautiful balloon where Easter Bunny is sitting and going all over the world I hope the wind is not so strong so he could deliver his presence safely we all hope yeah exactly so i'm drawing some flags here just for decoration purpose and you can draw something else and i will make a bow here waving on the wind and of course an easter egg and I will draw one more here and we'll be drawing flags again and I'm doing three flags you can make one two or nothing just to you just up to you yeah and a bow here And an Easter egg and I will draw smiling clouds you know how to do them already so and you are greater than I am in doing the smiley faces and they are so cute and they're helping our bunny to go safely and to see all 
children. And this is so exciting, guys. Like we are creating like our own story here. This is just fantastic. And who knows, maybe Easter Bunny is watching these stories. And I will draw a butterfly here, but you can draw a bird or two butterflies or something else. You are so creative, guys. Just your imagination may be even better than mine. So, this is just up to you. What to draw here? I will be drawing butterfly. So, I started with the body of butterfly and her wings and you can make different patterns here, different colors. They can be real colors, which you have seen in life, or they can be really not real, because it's your imagination and you can create whatever you want. So, so here is our bunny and now let's color it. And this is my most favorite part, you know it already. So, I will color the balloon with blue color, but you can paint it different colors. It can be multicolors and um, it can be pink, yellow, or maybe green. What is your favorite color? You just can choose it and color the balloon and you can make different pictures on it or, and different patterns. It can be a, rain, a rainbow or maybe, I don't know, maybe some easter eggs or maybe something else. So this is just up to you. I will make it blue. Because it's one of my favorite colors and you can make different patterns. And I will be making some also some decorations here, so you will see. And I'm just looking forward to get your beautiful pictures and to see what you have uh, drawn, guys. And I love watching it, your pictures, so please share with me. And you know, if I'm too fast, you can always pause the video, take your time, have a break and just watch it again. So I'm trying just even the color the balloon and now we'll start drawing some dots. Maybe even donuts. You can draw donuts or maybe ice cream or something else. So I will make like this. Very simple but looks beautiful and cute and I like these patterns. So, easy to do, to draw a lot of circles, it looks very beautiful and creative, as many as you wish, or you make a pattern with them, you can make a pattern, yeah, maybe zigzag or something else, but I'm not going to do any patterns here, just but you can, of course. So, now I will be coloring the flag. I will do it some purple. And you can make it any color. And this side I will make purple too. And And so I will start with some making some 
blush here. So my smiley clouds and also color. And I can color my bows. And be also blue, like, or maybe red, or yellow, or orange, whatever color you want. Just coloring it out. And it looks already beautiful, even we haven't colored our bunny yet, but it's already very beautiful. So I will make different colors of flags. Green, climb green, and one of them too. And then I will use the yellow. The yellow will be here and here. So you say I color them differently, but you can make them the same, do the same. And I will color orange. Because we think that orange and yellow and light green are all Easter colors. Pink and purple are also very beautiful. And blue, blue color. Coloring blue and now I will color one, maybe green one. Yeah. And I can write, I will use a pen to write Easter. You can do it with your pencil. But to write it with a pen will be maybe a little bit easier. Then, but who knows, you can, you can use different materials here. There may be paints, crayons, Wish. and I will make blush pink for the ears like this but if you don't have this color you can just make it like pink one and then use white pencil and it will be lighter uh, you know that you can mix your pencils together and they will give you different color for example you can mix yellow and red and it will be orange if you don't have for example orange pencil Paris will be red but you can make blueberries here or something else <laughs> and this is so exciting <laughs> I so like love to color, you know, everything like so beautiful and we created ourselves this beautiful picture. And this is the most exciting part of it. So I'm coloring different patterns on my eggs, but you can make your own patterns and I'm sure you do because you're very creative guys and you are doing such beautiful patterns that sometimes I just learn from you how you did it. Oh my god, and they are just fantastic. And now I will be coloring butterfly and then the basket itself. So I will make it pink and red and yellow of different colors. But you can make it blue or yellow if it's a lemon butterfly, but it can be any butterfly actually. So. And now I will just color with some yellow and red. 
and maybe we will decide to draw more butterflies of different colors or maybe some birds or maybe just more flowers to decorate the balloon and the basket of our bunny and now I will color the basket so I will be pressing a little bit more on these parts and some where I will be pressing less so it will create different but if you have different colors of brown then you can just use different colors like light and, and a darker one so and I'm using only one brown pencil just pressing in different ways on it trying to follow this direction to show the volume of the basket so when you color in this way like the part in this goes then you try to show and if you like shadows you can shade in it then you'll be looking even more realistic you know And this I forgot the color, so I will finish this one with a little pink. Yeah. So, guys, look at our picture. It is just fantastic, isn't it? Thank you for drawing. Well done, guys. Thank you for watching this video. I really love drawing with you, my art friends. And I wish you a very happy Easter, guys! If you enjoyed my lesson, please like the video and subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to share your beautiful artworks on my Facebook page, the link to which is below this video. Thank you for watching! Happy Easter! See you soon! Bye-bye!